Hey guys, and welcome back to the Leftover Culture Review. It has been years since I've gotten to say that. Well, okay, not years, actually just months, but it feels like a really, really long time. I haven't been making new videos. It's actually been really hard when I didn't have a games room. Uh, I went through this process of moving house and things took a little bit longer and there are a few other like personal complications, but finally, um, I've got a games room back again and this is it. <laughs> It's uh, been a wild ride, but I'm so glad to be sitting here back on camera, back talking to you. Um, and I figured I may as well start off this new chapter of the Leftover Culture Review with um, a games room tour. Because it's, I, I actually really enjoy getting a chance to show off a part of the collection. Uh, one of the big reasons I even started having a games room was because I really enjoy having a dedicated um, space where you can you know, come in, <laughs> play some games offline. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be, um, it's a collection you can touch. It's tangible. Uh, there's toys, there's action figures, there's Lego, and of course the video game cartridges, which you actually have to touch and use. So one reason I really enjoy having a games room is I guess to show it off, but also to try and invite you guys in to experience it with me because I really get a kick out of this space and I really enjoy having a space. That's always been really important to me. Um, I, for a long time, thought it might just have to be a corner of a room or a garage somewhere, but no. Back to having an actual games room that I can enjoy with you guys and I can invite you in and show off some of my favourite stuff. So, obviously nothing's been happening on the channel for a little while. I did want to like quickly plug some of my own social channels because I do a lot more, I'm a bit more active over on Instagram. Uh, I've been really enjoying just posting pictures and creating stories and I've, I've been enjoying that platform as far as um, sharing even like some of the artwork that I've been creating has been going up on Instagram, uh, the process of that. So yeah, leftover underscore culture underscore review. I'll have a link somewhere in the video in the description. Uh, I'd love to see you guys over there as well. If you want to ask questions or you want to engage or talk, whatever, you know, like I'm, I'm around. I'm not completely gone. Even if I'm not making videos on YouTube as much as I do, I still have been enjoying doing things. Uh, like I guess making art would be like the most obvious obvious one over on the Instagram page. So just to quickly let you guys know, this is probably the smallest games room that I've ever had in the past. Uh, there's no like wardrobes or storage space, but I've also now, um, I've moved my stuff throughout the house. So all my Lego is not in this one room. I've actually got Lego out in the living room. I've got Lego in my corridors and in my foyer. I've got, you know, foyer, foyer in the hallway. <laughs> Um, I've got Lego like scattered throughout the house. I've got toys scattered throughout the house. All the retro stuff doesn't have to live in this room anymore, which is really nice. So this room really is like the, the concise version of my collection. There's a whole bunch of like boxes that I used to have out on display that are now in a cupboard because they didn't have to be out on display. Yeah, this, this room is smaller. It's more condensed. It's more concise, but it's... It's packed with the stuff I love and it's, you know, years and years and years and years of doing this show, I've accumulated a whole bunch of stuff that I really do love. Uh, pretty classic conventional setup from all my other rooms. I've got the couch in one corner next to the classic games rack. Um, I don't know if you've watched any of the other games room videos, but I found uh, this was like a dump find. So it's like an old retail CD and DVD rack, but it fits the games really, really well. I have got my computer set up over here. So I've got the iMac G3. There is a review on that as well as the Power Mac G5. Um, I've got two of those down here. One's the dual processor, one's the single core G5 processor, power PC processor. Um, there's reviews on these as well. So if you want to check out some vintage Apple hardware, those reviews are here on the channel. And of course, on my computer table, I've also got a whole bunch of Mighty Max figurines. Uh, if you want to check out reviews for those, they're over on the Leftovers channel. I review a whole bunch of action figures, toys, Lego sets. Um, a lot of that stuff is over on the Leftovers channel. I'll have a link 
in the description for you, but I just love, love the colors and <laughs> how they put together these like really classic 90s miniature play sets. They're a lot of fun. And like I said, I've been working on some artwork. I've got that, you know, um, throughout the house, but this is one piece that I have for the games room, which I really do dig. They look really awesome and they just add so much color. Moving over from the computer desk, we have the game set up. So I've always enjoyed having like my tower of television. So I've got my really old CRT monitor there, slightly newer CRT monitor there. I don't have a um, LCD television in here anymore. I just didn't have the space for it. So I ditched it. I didn't feel like I needed it. <laughs> and I've also got obviously a living room now where some of the newer consoles can go. So I've just kept uh, the Super Nintendo, the Sega Dreamcast, the Sega Saturn, the Sega Mega Drive, the Atari Jaguar and the Atari 2600 out and ready to use. I've started bagging all the controllers with the power cables as well as the AV leads so that if I ever want to play one of these systems, I don't always have to be plugged in all the time. I just pull out the controller bag that has all the leads I need to hook it up down here. Uh, to either one of these uh, televisions. The big television is run through the VCR. So that um, that TV's only got an RF output. It doesn't actually have AV. So all the AV inputs are like on the VCR, which go through the aerial into the uh, old CRT monitor there. And this one, yeah, uses that lead down there. So couple of games, controllers and extra action figures sit down here. On top, we have Skeleton Warriors. We have the Noiseland Arcade Simpsons playset, some classic Ninja Turtles figures from NECA, as well as, you know, Earthworm Jim and a whole bunch of Ninja Turtle Lego. So a lot of this Lego shows up on the Leftovers channel as well. This was a custom sewer lair that I um, built using the a Nickelodeon sewer lair play set as well as I think it was like a sandwich yeah the sandwich shop with apartment on top from the creator series and I turned that into a pizza shop so I moved the pizza oven <laughs> into the deli and I turned the apartment on top into April's apartment but it's basically like a I wanted to make a New York City street scene with the Ninja Turtle sewer lair resting underneath and carrying over the Ninja Turtles theme, I've also got Anchovy Alley, which was a playset released with the Nickelodeon Turtles, as well as some of the Nickelodeon Turtle figures. Um, I collected like the four turtles um, from one series, the Antonio Bear, Anto Bear or something, <laughs> is like a robotic pizza chef from the most recent series. And then sitting underneath them, I actually collected Mutagen Man and Muck Man from the original Ninja Turtles series. And these figures are just insanely uh, beautiful and detailed and colorful. Uh, what's not to love? I'd love to get so many more figures from the original series, but these two were like actual standouts for me. So then sitting under that, I've also got some Lone Ranger Lego. Um, I guess like, <laughs> A lot of people, I, I really got into Red Dead Redemption and I used to really enjoy the Western Lego sets you would get. So I compromised a little bit and I picked up some Lone Ranger sets and I just love, um, I guess the, the different contrasts of Lego sets. Like I really enjoy the strongly themed ones. So uh, Ninja Turtles, the Aqua Zone, the Pirates, the Islanders. Um, I just, some amazing themes from Lego as well as my original Atari 2600 with a an old leftover culture review sticker sitting on top. I don't know how cool this really is, but the, the games room now has a balcony with plenty of natural light streaming through. Um, I keep it for the most part pretty closed up to protect you know, the, the packaging and the inks and the colors in this room and some of the retro equipment. But it's, it's nice to know that when I do recording during the day, plenty of natural light that I can use to make the videos happen. So that is the games room as it exists now, smaller, concise, condensed, but with all, 
all the stuff that used to be in here a little bit scattered, but this room really just focuses now on things you can play with, things you can use, things you can do. It doesn't feel too cluttered or too cramped, just cramped enough for me to really enjoy. So thank you so much for wandering through this room with me, checking it out with me. And I'm really looking forward to inviting you back in again and again and again and again on this channel to play some games with me, to check out some more of these cool action figures and Lego sets and just really, <laughs> Things that capture my attention and intrigue, especially from the 90s. That's what this show has always been about. It's always been about trying to capture that excitement, that mood, that vibe. And I'm really excited to be bringing more of that back again. I just want to extend like a massive thank you to everybody who's continued to watch the show, who's enjoyed the show throughout the years, who's watching this video now, even though I've only released one other video this entire year. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it. You're like, ongoing support and encouragement. It's been amazing. And I, I really mean that like coming back to make a video like this feels really good because I know that uh, there's people who really enjoy this stuff as well. And I really enjoy being able to share it. So thank you. Thank you so much for sticking around, still being here, tuning in for the first time, wherever you've come from. Thank you.